चैप्टर नंबर फाइव पीरियोडिक क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एलिमेंट्स वी आर टेकिंग क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर ऑन पीरियोडिक क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एलिमेंट्स सो बिफोर वी गो अहेड इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट टू नो एंड अंडरस्टैंड द पीरियोडिक टेबल एंड आई होप दैट यू आर फेमिलियर विद द पीरियोडिक टेबल द मॉडर्न पीरियोडिक टेबल नॉट एट इज स्टार्ट द क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज नॉट a correct statement about the trends when going from left to right across the periods of periodic table the answer is c the atom lose their electrons more easily this is incorrect because on moving from left to right across the periods of the periodic table the non metallic character increases so the tendency to lose electrons actually decreases let me tell you that if this is a periodic table the rows are called periods and the columns are called groups these are groups and these are periods right element x forms a chloride with formula xcl2 which is a solid with a melt high melting point now x would most likely be in the same group of the periodic table as what is the answer it is magnesium why because it will form mgcl2 they are in the same group of the periodic table so x would most likely be in the same group of the periodic table as magnesium mg which element has two shells both of which are completely filled with electrons so let us see one by one it is neon 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 both the you know the k shell and l shell let me tell you this is if this is a nucleus this is the k shell this is the l shell m shell like this it is so neon has two here and eight here so both of them are filled next is the electronic uh, configuration is 282 so 28 and 2 that means it is magnesium 8 plus 2 10 10 plus 2 12 12 is magnesium the total of three shells means klm with four electrons in the valence shell that means 2 and 8 are filled and here it is it has four so 2 plus 8 is 10 10 plus 4 14 which is actually the silicon silicon has a two in k shell eight in l shell and four in m shell then total of two shells three electrons in the valence shell so it is two here in the k and 3 here so there are 5 and 5 means we are talking about boron twice as many electrons in its second shell as in its first shell twice so if it is 2 because more at most it, uh, the k shell can hold 2 here this is double of 2 so 2 into 2 is 4 so 2 plus 4 6 which is actually carbon what property do all element in the same column of the periodic table as boron have in common and same question is with the fluorine now with boron as we just saw in the previous question the valence electron is 3 so the valency is 3 for all those which which are in the same column along with borons this is the same column these this this all will have valency of 3 and uh, in case of uh, fluorine all the all the elements here in the same in the same group will have valence electron as 7 because fluorine has 7 in the valence electron but the valency will be 8 minus 7 which is 1 so all have valency of 1 the atomic or the atom has electronic uh, configuration 287 so what is the atomic number the atomic number is simply 2 plus 8 plus 7 that is 17 to which of the following elements would it be chemically similar so 7 is 25 no we have to match with 287 25 no 9 2 and 8 no 2 and 7 sorry so this is matching so f is the correct answer so the atomic number is 17 and this would be chemically similar to f9 which has the electronic configuration so the valence the valence electrons are 7 valency is 1 the position of three elements a b c in this periodic table are shown like this so this is a group 
and these are the periods. So state whether A is a metal or non-metal. So as we see here, this is a non-metal. And then uh, state whether C is more reactive or less reactive than A. Always in a group, the highest one is the highest reactive and the lowest in the group is the least reactive. So in this case, C will be lesser reactive as compared to A because the reactivity goes down or decreases down the group in halogen. Group 17 is actually halogen. Will C be larger or smaller than B? Now C is on the right side, B is on the left side. So when we move across a period, the nuclear charge increases. Therefore, the electron comes closer to the nucleus. So C will be smaller than B as you move around. Which type of ion, cation or anion will be formed by element A? A. A will form an anion. It will be anion because it is going to accept electron to complete its octet 17 so it needs an uh, it will take an electron make it itself as stable so it will complete its octet nitrogen with atomic number 7 phosphorus with 15 belong to group 15 of the periodic table write the electronic configuration of two elements so this is 7 so 2 5 here we have 2 8 and 5 so which of these will be more electronegative y. Now they belong to group 15. So let us uh, make a table. Let us see this is KL, this is KLM. So we here we have 2, 5 as I showed here. And in KLM we have for phosphorus 2, 8, 5. So this is okay. Now let us go to the next question being asked. The answer is nitrogen is more electronegative than phosphorus. Because when we move down the group, the number of shell increases as you see here. And the valence electron move away from the nucleus. More it is closer, more it has strength. So when more it, it goes out, that is number of shells increases, the effective nuclear charge will increase. So this causes a decrease in the tendency to attract electron and hence the electronegativity will decrease. How does the electronic configuration of an atom relate to its position in the modern periodic table? In the modern periodic table, atoms with similar electronic configuration, they are placed in same column. These are columns. These are columns. So, atoms with similar electronic configuration, they are placed here. While in a group, this is a group, the number of valence electrons remain the same. So, element across a period grows, uh, shows an increase in the number of valence electrons. So, this is a group. And this is a column. This is how it, it is. It has to be answered. In a modern periodic table, calcium, which is having atomic number 20, surrounded by elements with atomic number 12, 19, 21, and 38. Which of these have physical and chemical properties resembling to calcium? The answer is 12. Why? Because this shows same chemical properties as calcium. Why? Both of them have same number of valence electron 2. This gives you 2, 8, 8, 2. Here we have 12, so 2, 8, 2. The number of valence electrons are same. That is, they are showing the same or they tend to show the same chemical properties. Compare and contrast the arrangements of elements in Mendeleev periodic table and modern periodic table. So this is Mendeleev periodic table. This is modern periodic table. In Mendeleev, elements are arranged in increasing order of, the, of their atomic masses. Increasing order of their atomic masses. While in modern periodic table, they are arranged again in the increasing order, but not in terms of their atomic masses, but atomic numbers. Atomic numbers. This has to be, you know, you must uh, consider it and learn it. Second is, there are seven groups and six periods. Groups are nothing but columns and periods are nothing but rows. Here in modern periodic table, we have 18 groups. That is 18 columns and seven periods, seven rows. In Mendeleev's, element having similar property were placed directly under one another. But in this case, elements which are having same valence shell are present in the same period. That is same period, same row. While elements having the same number of valence electrons, they are placed in the same group, that is column. 
In Mendeleev, the position of hydrogen could not be explained. Hydrogen. Hydrogen is placed above alkali metals in modern periodic table. In Mendeleev's, there is no distinguishing uh, or no uh, proper differentiation between the positions of metals and non-metal. But in modern periodic table, the left hand side and right hand side, that is left hand side are metals, LHS and right hand side are non-metals, this is RHS. So these are the differences between Mendeleev periodic table and modern periodic table. So these are question and answer on this topic. Thank you so much and take care of yourself.